<laughs> All right, Jim Finlayson, uh, wow, 45 plus uh, Canada uh, record in the marathon, 215 high? Uh, 225, yeah, 225, 28. That's what I meant to say, 225. Yeah, 225, 28, um, even split. Like, I think I had negative split by a second, so yeah, it was, that was a good race. Yeah, I was happy with that. Was uh, Copenhagen the uh, foreshadowing you needed uh, to make the decision on running a marathon? Yeah, ra uh, racing well in Copenhagen was the main focus, um, but I put a lot of marathon type work in before Copenhagen just to make sure that I could still do this one well. Um, and I just, like, I, my, I guess, like, my C goal is to get under 2.30 to, to get into the sub elite for Rotterdam for April. Um, and then, uh, I knew what the Masters course record was, I knew what the Canadian 45 plus record were, and it was, so um, those were like B and A goals, uh, and yeah. So in, in 10 years, are we going to see you take Arthur Taylor's 228 down? Yeah, well, he ran 227 at 50, 227, okay. but I'm only, I'm only four years away from that. I'm, I'm 46 now, so like... I thought he, he was 55. He did, he did it at 50. Oh, yeah. yeah, he did it at 50, so, oh, which is amazing, nearly... though. Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, he's still at 227 at 50. It's insane. Can you take me through the race? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I guess, like, in some regards, it was actually really nice having the half marathoners out there. Like, I didn't really know where I was positioned in the marathon, but, um, but having other people around that, you know, could help me get through about 13K of the race. Um, it's just nice having other people to pace off of. Uh, it got lonely after that. I mean, I didn't see anybody from 13K to 38K. I didn't see another runner that was, you know, that I was competing against. Um, and then at 30, around 38K, uh, the guy that ended up finishing second, I think he was second or third, Mizell. Um, Carrera uh, came ripping past me and okay, like, I just couldn't go with him. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was a lot of time, you know, with, like feeling like I had kind of heavy legs early, um, some of the extra glycogen burned off and so by 28k, it was actually felt really good from 28k to 38k, uh, it was just a lot of time in the head, a lot of time thinking, man, like I haven't raced a marathon in 10 years, like should I be feeling like this at this point and um, you know can I keep going and you know I'd never run an even split in the past either like I'd, I'd run a positive split by about a minute or a minute 15 kind of thing and so I was sort of anticipating um, some slow 